curious about um, your, your personal diet and you have this morning <laughs> ritual. Um, uh, talk, 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 talk to us a little bit more like your lifestyle. It sort of started when I was 18 and I was dancing um, in New York with a company called the Bell Valleys New York. And I was always really interested in health. I was always kind of um, in pain, my body was always sore or injured, and I was always looking for something that was going to nourish me and give me energy and cleanse me at the same time. And I really found um, gurus like Norman Walker and Paul Bragg, and I studied them. And, um, and, and ever since then, I've always been interested in health, and it's always been something that's uh, sort of fascinated me. Um, that whatever we do put into our body really does affect us, you know. Um, and of course, there's always the other element of, or elements of exercise and, you know, spirituality and healthy thinking. And all that stuff is very important too. Um, but anyway, and 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 I really, um, I was only raw for about a year, fully, completely. Um, and then I decided or realized that my body really needed, from time to time, to be able to have that. Um, you know, ability to go back and forth if need be, to eat cooked food once in a while. So, um, and that's where I am today. You know, I, I really, um, I really listen to, to what my body tells me. And my morning ritual <laughs> is, um, I drink a nice big green juice, about, you know, either 16 to 32 ounces, depending on what, what I feel like I need that, that morning. But, and it's usually got some, definitely kale, and then either a, a little green apple or some citrus or cucumber, or whatever I've got lying around, some cilantro or parsley. But a nice green juice that's not over the seat. And it really uh, it really starts my day right off just the right. foot. For the cleansing? Just, yeah, for cleansing, it's, it's very alkalizing. Mm -hmm. It just, it gives me, you know, a really good feeling in the morning. It hydrates me and kind of wakes me up and, and makes me just feel really good. I, I definitely suggest other people try it. For, and, and juice should always, you should always drink juice on an empty stomach because it digests more quickly okay. and fluid goes straight to the blood. So drinking on an empty stomach is really important. And first thing in the morning is, is one of the best times to have a nice juice. Okay. And you find yourself, um, you know, going through your day full of energy when there's no music. Yeah, I mean, it's, and well, if I, yeah, I, I mean, unless I don't eat, you know, or fasting is, is, you know, something that's great, and I think it's, it's nice to do a house cleaning in that way, maybe, you know, four times a year, or even some people, I, I used to do it when I was younger, about every Sunday, it was like my Sunday ritual to just fast for one day. Mm -hmm. um, it just, yeah, it's really, it's, it's really good to sort of clean house and let your organs rest for a little while. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Why else do you think um, uh, it's important to, to have a raw vegan diet? Well, I think, you know, there, I mean, this is such a, such a lengthy topic. I, I mean, there are just so many, um, so many different schools of thought on this sort of thing. Um, definitely the fact that meat rots in the stomach is, is, is one thing. <laughs> uh, it's, it's definitely to be avoided, aside from just the, um, you know, the fact that you're killing animals and, and there's that whole other aspect, aside from the health. Um, and then, and it's just, it's, it's a lot easier on your system to eat raw food and uh, vegan food. You know, uh, dairy is very, very mucus forming. It's clogging to the arteries. It's just, um, uh, meat in general, aside from, from rotting in your stomach, is just, it creates an acidic body, an acidic environment. And when your body is acidic, then that's when you become uh, oh, you open up to all these, uh, you know, potent diseases that, that can, you know, inhibit that sort of space. And an alkaline body, which immediately happens once you start eating all raw, is um, it's impossible for disease to live in an alkaline body, in an alkaline environment. It's just not possible. So, I mean, those are, you know, and the vitality that you feel when you eat this food is just, it's incredible. Your energy level goes up. You feel very clear. Your, your, your mental state becomes clear. Believe it or not, mm -hmm. you know it, it affects you know you as a whole, you know emotionally, mentally, spiritually. It's all connected. You know, we are what we eat. Exactly. Um, I've actually recently come across this book called um, "Conquering Any Disease" mm -hmm. um, by Jack Conrad, and you can heal almost any disease out there with food, with good, clean, organic food. Um, what was the last time you got sick? Everyone was that. <laughs> you know what? I honestly. Um, it's probably been about a year, and I get sick when I start eating too much cooked food. 
Especially, um, especially if I start eating grains, you know, if my body starts to, you know, crave that, and I and I give in, and I start eating grains, especially, I start to feel a little bit more mucus forming in my body, and then I'll just. You know. But um, but it's been, you know, it's been a while, and whenever I do get sick, it's it's very short lived, you know, it's, it doesn't it doesn't last. And um, but but more than anything, it's just this. It's such an incredible way to feel viral in your life, you know, viral. And, and that, you know, it just it opens up all these other doors. You know, I mean, they say health is the greatest wealth. Yeah, it truly is. Yeah. And it's definitely not. Um, it's not such a one-sided thing. I mean, I, I'm a huge believer in exercise and, and um, some sort of spiritual practice, whatever that may be. And 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 I'm definitely maintaining a positive attitude. It's huge. I mean, just as important as, as this. You know, absolutely for anything, just for for life. You know, to be happy. How does one how does one achieve happiness um, and, and maintain that in your life? It's something that you I really believe that you can just decide. You choose to be happy, just like you choose to put what you, you know what you decide to put into your body. It's all a choice. You know. And, um, anyway. And that's what you guys <laughs> No, I think it's it's, it's an amazing information. Um, so you guys don't use grains here, but you use nuts. We don't. We use uh, we use uh, flax seeds, flax and, seeds. and sometimes we use squash. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But we really don't use grains. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, the, the flax um, there's also. Um, this thing that you guys do that people can bring their, their own, it's a, it's a bring their own beans. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nice. I mean, um, you know, it's a, it's a nice little thing that uh, people enjoy. They come in, they can either bring their wine, and uh, they don't have a focus group. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it, it sort of adds to the friendly community vibe of food. That, that makes it sort of uh, nice and relaxed and, and mm -hmm. relaxed. And, and people like it. Right. And what, what, what's the kind of traffic that you guys attract here? What kind of customers? Oh, that's one of the things that I love about working here mm -hmm. is the people that you get to meet. It's definitely um, aside from being able to eat the food. Um, it's just you know it's it's all over all over the board. Um, you know you get a lot of uh, old you know older hippies that come in and and a lot of um, you know Silver Lake music industry people. Um, we get a lot of celebrities that come in. Um, and it's a nice place for them to come and sort of feel under the radar. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, just just families that come in. There are a lot of there are a few raw food families that come in, which is really nice to see. And then, like I said, a lot of people who have uh, stuff that they're working through, whether it be celiac or Crohn's or um, you know just real intestinal issues, um, and, and just you know a lot of other things as well. And it's a, it's a nice place for people to come. And, and really uh, come off of a fast. There's a, there are a lot of those, you know, people who are you know doing a cleanse and they come in and, and they're uh, you know happy to have some sort of you're, you're thing you're planning to talk about marketing in general and um, um, and how do you would encourage this this lifestyle? Um, I think raw food is just um, I can speak for myself. It's just um, it's just been such a wonderful journey for me and it's it's been something that I really. Um, I'm just so happy about to have the uh, the extra energy and the just to feel great, to feel clean, uh, to feel healthy, and I think that um, it's just it's so wonderful to have a place like Crew where people can come and they can experience something that's even uh, a little bit more upscale or gourmet than something that's like that they would make at home, um, and it also just inspires people. It's inspired so many people that have come in and that have asked me, oh, could I make this at home? And, and I tell them yes, and this is how you do it, and, um, and it's just such a wonderful place. You know, I really hope that it's something that's uh, that it stays around for a long time. Me too. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.